What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender architectural modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna continue our series on modeling a floor plan using Blender. And in today's video, we're gonna focus on how to add doors and windows to our model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so just a reminder, you can download the floor plan we're using and follow along at the CGEssentials.com slash floor plan. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump over into uh, material preview mode and we're going to, let me switch this back into perspective mode, we're going to start adding doors and windows in your model. And so there's a couple different ways you can do this. I recommend wherever possible, if you can download models from manufacturers or something like that, if you have something specific from the real world in mind, I would start there. But and I will link to a video that I did on how you can do that. For this video, I'm gonna use a tool that's already built inside of Blender. I don't really like modeling doors and windows manually, so we're gonna use an add-on instead. So if you go up to Edit, Preferences, and you want to scroll down and you wanna look for the Add Mesh, Archimesh, add-on. So Archimesh is basically an add-on that allows you to add different architectural things to your model and it's got a great tool for creating doors and windows in Blender. So when Archimesh is activated you can tap the N key on your keyboard and there's going to be a little button down here called create and so notice how when you click on create there's there's a little menu up here that's minimized well you just want to click on the little arrow in order to maximize it and so notice how this gives you the ability to add different elements to your model well in this particular situation we want to focus on creating a door so I'm just going to start by creating this door and remember that we've got snapping turned on I'm just going to do a shift right click and I want to make sure my snapping is set to edge center and I'm going to set my 3D cursor right here. And the only reason I'm doing that is when you click on a door like this. So it's going to drop this in here and its object or origin is in the center of the door. Well then when this door comes in, I can move it down. Usually what I do is I come over here into my outliner and I just click on this and then tap the G key in order to move this around. And in this case, I want to tap G, Z, I wanna move this so that it's aligned with the bottom of my opening right here. Well then, there's a bunch of options if you click on the door frame for things you can do with this. Like for example, I can take this frame and I'm gonna move this to the left a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And you can adjust the frame width to fit in your opening using the little slider right here. So you can also adjust things like your frame thickness, which is gonna set how thick your frame is in the wall. And so one thing I want to do real quick is I want to um, go to kind of a top down view and I'm just going to hold the Z key, go into wireframe mode. And what I want is I want to move this so that it's aligned with the center of my wall. So I'm just going to tap G. And remember that it really, really to move this around, you want to click on it in the outliner, but I just want to tap G, Y, and then I want to align this with the center of my wall. That way my door is actually aligned in here. Then you can tap Z and go back into material preview mode. And so what I want to do is I just want to make sure that my thickness is correct. So again, click on your frame and adjust your thickness so that it hangs out a little bit. And then we're going to adjust our frame height in the same way. So we can adjust that here. Then we also want to adjust our frame size a little bit because it's getting a little bit thick. So I'm going to move this to the left right here. And then notice how with Archimesh, there's a number of different types of doors in here. So for example, I can click the drop down and you can see how there's a few different kinds of doors. Well, for this one, I just want the full pane door right here. So you can also adjust things like your handle. So if you want your handle to be a different kind, you can select options over here in order to do that. Usually I end up going with that first one. You can also adjust the direction this is opening if you want to do that. But now, if we were to jump over into rendered mode, you can see how this door is actually going to look really good when it renders out because it's got the proper level of detail for a good rendering. So you can also add windows though. So for example, what I want to do is I want to place my 3D cursor. Um, we'll go ahead and go with the center of the wall right here. Then you can just come over here and just add a rail window. So again, and I guess I could have put it right here, but notice how this adds a window inside a blender. So I'm just gonna click on this, move this down. So it's aligned with the bottom of my wall right there. And then in this case, 
I want to click on my window frame and adjust this. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the rotation so that it's facing the other direction because I want my windowsill to be on the inside. But then I'm just going to kind of fine adjust this so that it fits in my wall and so that it has the proper height. And so you can jump into a front view if that helps you. But notice how I can adjust the height of the window to fit in the opening using this slider right here. And then I want to move this so that Basically, this little flange is sitting on the outside of the wall. So, um, usually for the windows, I just do a shift tab or I click on this and I turn my snapping off. And I just kind of move this back manually. Um, I find the snapping kind of jumps around on the window. So we're just gonna click on our window on our outliner, tap G, Y, and we're just gonna move this till it aligns with the opening. And you can see how it was a little tall right there. So we can just select our window bring our size down just a little bit. So something like this is probably gonna be about right. So if we look at our window, we just wanna double check it and make sure it looks okay, both from the inside and the outside. So in this case, for example, um, we wanna kind of adjust the sill length a little bit so that it's about aligned with our wall right here. So again, now we have a window inside of our model. So we'll just jump into rendered mode real quick just so you can see what these windows are gonna look like in rendered view. So you can see how same thing, they render really well with the light passing through the glass and the detail of your actual window assembly looks good as well. All right, so now because my window openings are the same size, I wanna reuse this window, right? I don't wanna go in there and redo this over and over again. So I'm just going to right click and do a select hierarchy that's gonna select all the different objects that are in here, but then I'm just gonna do a Shift D and tap the X key and just create a copy of this that aligns with this opening. And so if you wanted to, you could either duplicate these windows over here or you could add a different kind of window. So you could either kind of adjust these or there's a different kind of window in here called a panel window, which you can also use. This is gonna be more of like a traditional storefront door. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees, but there's different window kinds that are in here, right? So with multiple different panels in them, you can also add panels. So for example, let's say I wanted to use this window. I wanted to add some panels to it. You can adjust this over here in your settings. You could also, and usually I like to keep these fairly symmetrical, but you could adjust your different window pane sizes in here using these settings over here. So you could create this kind of window or I'm probably just gonna keep duplicating these. But just know that there is an option in here um, to create these panel windows instead. But in this case, I'm just gonna take this window I'm just gonna select my hierarchy, do a duplicate. Now, one thing to note about this right now is if I try to rotate this, and then I'm just gonna do an R, Z, 90, or R, Z, 180, because I want my sill on the inside, but then I'm just gonna align this with my wall. So I'll just turn my snapping off. I'll do a G, X, and we'll just align this with the opening. And just double check these to make sure that they're actually inside of your wall and they look okay. In this case, I feel like this looks fine. So then I can just turn my center edge snapping back on and then just do a Shift D, and align this here, Shift D, and align this here, Shift D, and align this here. So now we're almost done. Let's add some interior doors real quick. And I'm not 100% sure why these didn't align, but we'll just select them. We'll just move them into our wall right here. So now real quick, let's just go in here and add an interior door. So again, I'm gonna do a shift right click and add a door. I'm gonna rotate it. We'll rotate it maybe 270. So we'll just select this group in the outliner. We'll do a G, Z, and then we'll click so that this aligns. And so again, we just need to do our quick adjustment. So now we'll just tap the Z key and jump over into wireframe mode and just align our door with the inside of the wall. So we'll just take it and just make, make sure that our frame lines up with the wall. Then we can do a Z, go back into material preview mode. So then we just wanna make sure that our frame is thick enough that it shows on both sides of our wall. 
And that may require a little bit of fine adjustment. And so we just want to adjust this so that it lines with our opening right here and adjust our height right here. And I like the frame to be a little bit narrower, just like this. But then once we get this set up, all we have to do is just select our door and just do a shift D. Then all we have to do is turn on our snapping, right click and select our hierarchy, and then do a shift D, Y, and click right here. Shift D, click right here, and then we want to move this so that it's aligned with our floor and our opening. All right, so now we've got doors and windows inside of our model. So if I jump over into rendered mode real quick, and by the way, I know we haven't talked about how to set up this rendering. We'll do that in a future video, but you can see how these doors and windows come in both with the geometric detail to look realistic, as well as the ability for glass to kind of travel through the light, which gives us a great rendered view as well. So remember, if you want to download the floor plan and follow along, you can do that at the cgessentials.com slash floor plan. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.